particle will counter test at about six in the morning here. Very hazy day. There's um, a a smog advisory or a weather quality advisory because there's forest fires. Um, hundreds and hundreds of miles away, maybe a thousand miles away, drifting over this province, causing a smog advisory. Particle counts here: 0.5 microns on the left, 2.5 on the right. We're about two million particles per cubic foot. 2.2 million or 22,000, that's 1 one hundredth of a cubic foot. And very poor is rated 3,000 plus. So this is our great air quality. Mosquitoes are bad, so I'm going to go indoors now and see what the air quality is indoors. Okay, air quality was over 20,000 outside at uh, 0.5 microns. Add two zeros to get cubic feet. So we're basically 2 million particles per uh, per cubic foot, 0.5 microns and larger. Uh, air quality 3,000 plus is considered very poor. Um, we're in the lobby now, it's about the same as it was outside. Uh, last night I was getting counts of over 30,000, about 30, 35,000. So it's actually come down a bit, but this is one of the worst air quality days I've ever seen. Just completely hazy and smoky from forest fires. Okay, coming out of the elevator. Okay, counts have come down a little bit. Alright, okay. They're about uh, 1.4 million parts per cubic foot. And we're going to go into my apartment now to see if we can get away from this, uh, all this air pollution and smoke. We're going to see what happens when we go in my apartment now. So we're at 15,000, we were 20,000 outside. This is what pretty much everyone's breathing in. Come into my apartment. Counts drop. I have all my air cleaners going. Look at the counts drop here. This is what HEPA filtration can do. And what HEPA? So I got got my homemade HEPA going here. The video I made about that. Two Honeywell 17450s. My air conditioner is going. And I have a, a HEPA air cleaner blowing the air into the air conditioner. Look, that's an example of how hazy it is outside today. So the counts were 20,000 outside. Look what they are here. Usually I can get the counts lower, but that smoke is probably infiltrating my apartment. Uh, we're going to go in the bedroom where I have the IQ airs running. This is an IQ air compact. I got this running in here. Running full blast for a few hours. Notice the count's coming way down and they come in here. And that is another Honeywell 17450 going full blast. That's a Swordfish UV air sterilizer, but it's not even turned on. And here is an IQ Air uh, clean room going full blast. H13. This little gizmo here is my homemade uh, homemade way to get air in. Is a is a basically a fan with it has to have a filter in that box. It's sucking air into the box from outside. And there's a little fan basically here. I made another video about that. Sucking air in, dirty air in from outside. Uh, and going in here in the box and it's being filtered coming out this hose and going into the bottom of the IQ Air, kind of the pre-filter of the IQ Air. You may ask why am I sucking this really bad 25,000 uh, or 2 million, 2.5 million particles per cubic foot air from outside. The reason is I'm trying to create some positive air pressure uh, in my apartment by sucking air in and cleaning it to try to keep some of that smoky air out. Um, and this is a good idea to run it. I just have a half a filter in there. I got it for really cheap, so it's kind of pre-filtering my IQ air. I don't want to run that dirty air directly into my IQ air, because that would saturate the filter pretty fast. But um, 20, over 20,000 on the, on the uh, thing here, and I'm getting like 60 here. So if you've got asthma or COPD, this is what you got to do. 
Agraria Aggressive Air Cleaning.